Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from SolarFlare. We have Mike Smith, who's the VP and General Manager of the Host Solutions at the company. So, Mike, welcome to the show today. Hi, Rich. Thanks for having, thanks for having me on. Um, I'm going to talk about two new, uh, two new products that we'll be introducing over the next several months. Um, before, before I get into details there, I thought it might be helpful to you and your, your listeners to give a little bit of an overview of what SolarFlare has been up to over the last uh, year or two. Um, our company is focused on uh, high-performance, low-latency network solutions. Our, our core products are server adapters. Uh, we make our own controller technology, our own firmware, our own software products as well. And we also develop uh, low-latency uh, software that, uh, that is a companion product to our, to our hardware products. Uh, we're focused today on 10 gigabit uh, networking, 10 gigabit Ethernet networking. Um, you know, of course, investing in, in future technologies as well, looking ahead next year to, um, to 40 gig and beyond. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our company. Uh, we're privately held. We're looking at about a billion dollar market opportunity for these products. And um, since we've launched our first product, uh, first branded product about two years ago, uh, we've won a number of uh, awards and, and some significant recognition for the success of these products in the marketplace. We're, uh, we're now the number one fastest growing 10 gig server adapter company uh, in the world for two years running, 2010 and 2011, according to Del Oro. We're the number two most recognized brand in HPC, um, according to IT brand Pulse, and um, we're also the, the fastest growing 10 gig adapter company um, <clears throat> in, uh, in uh, financial services. So um, uh, tremendous amount of success uh, in, in a couple of years that we've been uh, shipping these products. Uh, we sell them to two-tier distribution. Uh, we, we have a number of uh, major distributors that carry our products, in, including Tech Data, Ingram, Synex, uh, and ACAL. We've got a uh, large network of uh, special, uh, specialized VARs uh, worldwide, uh, over 50 VARs that carry our products and, and, uh, and, and, and support them in the field. And we're also available for customers through the major uh, server OEMs, including Dell, HP, and IBM. So if a customer wants to buy our products uh, with the server and have the factory installed, they can go ahead and do that. Um, so moving right along, I, I just a little bit more background on our products. Uh, we have a full line of server adapters uh, to cover all the needs of our, of our customers. Uh, we've got single port and dual port products. Uh, we support uh, various cabling options, including optical, direct attached copper, as well as um, uh, RJ45 connectors for, for um, uh, uh, twisted pair. Uh, we also pr uh, have products that support uh, various um, uh, a number of different uh, blade server form factors uh, from IBM and um, NHP and are rolling out uh, a new product for uh, the Dell DCS and 6100 uh, server product lines. Um, all these products are, are, are high performance, that's our specialty. We'll support full link rate in both directions on two ports simultaneously, so you can get an aggregate 40 gigabits of bandwidth uh, from our product. We offer the absolute lowest latency in the industry for this class of product, excellent performance in NFS and iSCSI applications as well. And we've got a unique scalable virtualized architecture that is very well suited for uh, virtualized data centers and um, all the various uh, benefits you get with virtualization, including you know, workload consolidation, virtual desktop. Uh, we provide uh, great scalability and, and great performance in those environments. And also, our products are, are, uh, are very green, have the lowest uh, power in the industry, and we're, we're, uh, we meet all of the ENERGY STAR uh, requirements for 10 gigabit products. So, um, you know, that, that's uh, an overview of our, of our business over the last couple of years and our core products. Let's move on to uh, the next slide, slide number four, and, and let me let me talk a little bit more detail about our low latency capabilities and um, as a lead into uh, to a new product that we'll be announcing. Uh, we we offer a, a technology called Open Onload, uh, which is an application acceleration stack. Uh, it works hand in glove with our with our server adapters, and essentially what this technology does is allows a customer to uh, bypass the kernel stack 
and uh, create a create a, a link or a, a tunnel uh, between the um, uh, the application and our and our, our network hardware. Um, and, and in doing so, dramatically improves performance, uh, uh, reduces latency, and uh, uh, improves the overall efficiency of the of, of the network uh, traffic. Um, <clears throat> we uh, we do this by streamlining. Uh, and reducing um, uh, interrupts, content switches, data copies, and the like. Um, and uh, we support TCP, IP, and UDP, uh, as well as multicast uh, protocols so that customers can use their standard applications where POSIX compatible. So it's, it's, a, it's a terrific way to uh, accelerate performance without uh, make, uh, forcing a customer to make any modifications to their environment, either their application environment or their network environment. And, and this is in contrast to other part protocols such as RDMA, which can be quite invasive in terms of the hardware environment and in particular the software application environment. Our product applies seamlessly into the existing infrastructure and provides at least a 50% benefit uh, in, um, in latency and can provide a dramatic improvement in message rate performance. And we offer this as an open source technology, so customers can download, download uh, this product from our website or from openonload.org and uh, use it for free as, as, part of, uh, as part of their solution stack. So let me move on to uh, slide number five and talk about one of our new products. Um, this is a new ultra-low latency server adapter. It's the latest in our family of server adapter products. Uh, the model number is the SFN. 6122F, 6122F. Uh, this is targeted at the new server platforms that will be rolling out uh, this, uh, this spring. Offers the lowest possible latency, highest overall performance uh, of, of, of an adapter, a server adapter. It's fully compatible with our existing products and with our open onload technology and uh, integrates seamlessly in the, in the customer environment so they can plug this product in and, and get, uh, get improved performance. Um, I show a, a couple of charts on the right, and, and I'll point you to the upper chart. And um, I'm giving you a reference here to show um, how this product compares to our current mainstream product, which is currently really uh, the best in class out there uh, on, its, on its own right. And, and I show you two comparisons, one in the uh, existing production shipping, shipping Westmere platforms, and then I show some data taken on the new Sandy Bridge platforms. And what, uh, what we're looking at here is, um, is latency, round-trip uh, round latency uh, of two, uh, two servers connected back-to-back -back and uh, the latency number uh, from application to application. And you can see with our existing product, looking at TCP latency, um, we can, we can uh, deliver performance in, the, in about the 3.6 microsecond latency range. Uh, this number is reduced with this new product and new platforms to less than 2.4 microseconds. So you, you get about a 35% improvement in, in latency performance by moving to this product uh, and on, on the new server platforms. You also get a tremendous improvement in, um, in message rate performance. If you look at the lower chart on the right, you know, we're, we're uh, in, in, in one case, in the single port case, doubling the message rate performance delivered uh, by our product uh, compared to our existing product. And just to give you a competitive reference, um, most 10 gig uh, NICs that are available out there, uh, the latency in TCP is in the neighborhood of you know, 10 to 12 to 13 microseconds. Uh, best in class is, uh, is about six microseconds. So we're down about 2.4 microseconds. And for message rate, the best in class that uh, we've seen from competitors is about three million messages per second. So, we can deliver 8 million on a single port and up to 18 million on, uh, on two ports. So tremendous uh, improvement in both latency uh, and message rates. Uh, we also provide uh, just a terrific latency at high, at high message rates so that um, when customers are running their applications at full speed, they can, they can sustain and maintain the, um, the excellent uh, uh, latency performance. A low latency jitter, which means from a customer perspective that all packets are treated uh, pretty equally. Um, you don't get uh, spikes in random packets or occasional packets where the latency jumps to a, a significant number. 
um, in, in, um, in, in this product, we, we treat uh, all the packets uh, you know, the same way. You get uh, all, you know, uh, terrific latency performance across uh, virtually all the, um, the packets uh, that, that come across the wire. And of course, application compatibility. Uh, this product is sampling now and uh, uh, will be a GA later on this month. Okay. So let's move on and let me talk about uh, our, our second new product that I want to talk about, um, slide number six. Uh, we call this an application onload engine. Um, this really is a new class of product and, and I think there's, uh, 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 there's nothing on the market that we've seen that's quite like this. Uh, it's unique in that it leverages the close connection that SolarFlare uh, provides between the application and our network hardware and it also adds processing power to the server adapter to allow uh, some amount of application processing on the adapter itself. So in effect, what we're doing is uh, uh, providing a very tight coupling between the processing capability and the applications and, uh, and the network. And uh, we're doing on-the-fly processing of network data before it ever gets to uh, the, the, the host server. So. In, in, in one sense, uh, our open onload technology moves network, the network closer to the application by providing this direct coupling between the application and the network adapter. And in the case of the application onload engine, um, we're moving the application closer to the network and providing application processing on the network adapter. Uh, the result is faster application processing. Uh, reduce CPU utilization, uh, more effective utilization of your servers uh, so the customers can get more work done with their servers. So let, let's move on to the next, uh, next slide and I'll get into a, a little more detail on what this product looks like. Um, uh, as you can see from this, uh, from this graphic, what we're talking about here is a fully featured solar flare network adapter. Uh, that's combined with a state-of-the-art FPGA. Uh, this FPGA runs at very high clock speeds. Um, very high uh, uh, logic element count and, and allows us to put significant amount of, uh, of, of application code onto this card. Um, we integrate this with our, our driver stacks as well, as well as open onload so it can integrate seamlessly into a server um, looking simply like a server adapter like any of our products and, um, uh, and then we combine that capability with the application processing. Um, the, the key advantage we have here is that we've already got the best low latency server adapter solution on the market uh, and, and this, pro, uh, this uh, leverages that capability completely and adds a bump in the wire processor uh, with tight integration to the server adapter. So um, you get, you get uh, really a seamless interface to the host application and the host CPU. Um, we'll be providing customers with shrink wrap applications uh, that allow them to uh, load the applications onto the card uh, just like a firmware build, just, just like uh, loading firmware onto a NIC. We're also providing a tool set so customers can develop their own applications and deploy them on this card as well. So it's a very, uh, very rich product. We're, um, we're in the process now of, of um, uh, you know, finalizing development and um, engaging customers on their application development. We'll be deploying this product um, next quarter. If you move on to the next slide, uh, I'll give an indication of some of the uh, performance benefits we expect to see from this product. And what, what I show on this chart is um, uh, you know, two, uh, two uh, kinds of performance metrics measured in microseconds in this case. On the left, the left bar is um, you know, what you might think of as a typical uh, customer environment where you've got a typical network switch, a typical server adapter. Uh, you've got some sort of a messaging layer or middleware that often uh, comes into play in high-performance computing or in um, uh, many financial applications. And, and then you've got the customer application itself. Um, our adapter dramatically uh, reduces the amount of latency associated with the, the adapter. We've already delivered that and we continue to improve on that with our, with our latest generation product. What the application onload engine does is address the, the latency and the processing overheads associated with the customer application processing. And of course, this can vary widely. Uh, I've talked to customers that have 
um, application processing in the neighborhood of tens of, of microseconds and others that uh, processing uh, takes hundreds of microseconds. So uh, in, in any of these cases, we, we, we believe we'll provide a significant improvement in that performance and, and the interaction, interactions we're having with customers uh, support, uh, support that, uh, that kind of thinking. Uh, the next slide, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the, the market opportunities that we, we see before, uh, before we have some uh, question and answer. Um, first, first off, we see lots of opportunities. We, we've been led to this space by our customers, uh, particularly in the financial services space. Uh, we're already uh, partnering on application development and on um, early deployment models and, um, and, and specific uh, um, kinds of codes that, that customers are, are developing and will be using from us. Uh, we're also seeing a number of different kinds of um, uh, application environments uh, that, that customers have pulled us, uh, are pulling us into. Um, I've got um, an oil and gas customer, for example, that, um, uh, that sees a number of, um, of applications that they can deploy with this model, ranging from compression to um, pattern recognition of, of oil and gas uh, data, um, internet uh, applications that, that, um, uh, that can deal with things like encryption, decryption, uh, traffic prioritization and so forth, um, security applications involving uh, you know, snooping traffic or again encryption, uh, decryption, content protection, um, uh, video surveillance. So, so the, the range of use cases for this class of product is pretty broad. And um, you know we're we're in the pro we're right in the early days here of engaging partners and customers to develop this, but we're really excited about this this new class of product. I'll be as I said, we'll be rolling this out uh, next quarter. We're in the early um, uh, customer engagement right now, so, um, uh, application development, sampling that's that 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 sort of uh, engagement with customers, and um, we we see a big uh, big opportunity will be in production next quarter and. Um, um, uh, looking forward to a, a big second half of the year for this class of product. So with that, maybe uh, maybe we can uh, talk about any questions you have, Rich, and, and I'll do my best to answer. Oh, terrific! Uh, thanks, Mike. You know, I had a question back on on slide seven, right? You had you, the the application onload engine. You've got this FPGA there. What is that doing? What is that bump in the wire doing? Is it co-processing? Is it compressing? Or what's it up to? So, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, in, we, we've got a lot of customers in the financial space, and uh, it's very common for customers to uh, take in market data feeds and, um, and, and do, uh, do lots of different things with those market data feeds. They, they will do things like uh, decoding um, uh, the formats that come from the various, of, of the, you know, the data, formats of the data that come from various exchanges. They will look at redundant paths and uh, determine which packet from which path uh, arrived first and, and uh, make decisions based on the first, uh, first arrived piece of data. They will uh, filter the data to uh, reduce the data stream down to uh, you know, a minimum subset of data that they care about. And, and these are these are common steps that that our customers do. Uh, the specifics of, of you know um, what what gets filtered and how the packets are are, are dealt with um, you know is going to vary from customer to customer. But all the customers have to do some amount of of um, let's call it pre-processing of the network streams before they get to the business at hand of of. Um, of, of building their order books or uh, processing their, their algorithms. And what customers are interested in doing is moving portions of their existing code onto an FPGA that's in line so that we can do that processing for them. And uh, you, get, you get a couple of benefits from that. One is processing uh, software algorithms and hardware is much, much faster. Uh, we can parallelize up the um, the code. We can operate at very high clock speeds, and we can uh, we can execute much much faster. Uh, the other thing that we do is we're providing the server with a streamlined subset of the data that they really care about. So we're reducing the workload 
on that server. At the same time, we're giving them uh, the results much, much faster. So tremendous benefit in terms of uh, overall performance as well as uh, overall server utilization. That's just one example. Um, in the oil and gas space I mentioned, you know, they, they have terabyte files where um, their, um, their seismic, seismic imaging data uh, is analyzed and, um, you know, the companies are looking for, you know, gas or oil deposits under the ground and, and it deals with pattern recognition kind of techniques that some of which can be moved into hardware and, and perform much more, much more quickly as well. Just, just a couple of examples there. Sure, sure. And Mike, kind of a, an industry question here. You know, I've been reading that this is going to be the year of 10 gig, right? Because you guys exist in a, a larger ecosystem. Do you agree with that? Is 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 10 gig going to come to uh, fruition this year? Well, just just to give you uh, you know a couple of metrics. Last year, about 15 percent of server network ports were 10 gig. Okay. Um, this year, the projections are much higher than that, um, and, and, and so uh, I do agree that this is going to be a big year for 10 gig. Uh, the market forecasters are expecting uh, 10 gig shipments to more than double. A uh, couple of reasons for that, but, but I think the big, uh, two, two big reasons are you've got a new uh, server platform rolling out uh, from Intel that uh, provides you know, a pretty dramatic jump in um, in server performance, in processing performance, but it also prov uh, provides a pretty big jump in I.O. performance because of the, some of the changes made to the uh, I.O. architecture uh, that you'll see when they announce that product. Uh, the second thing is, uh, as the volumes of 10 gig have moved, uh, the costs are coming down and the pricing is coming down. So it's becoming much more uh, cost effective to deploy 10 gig versus a multiple you know, two or four uh, ports of, of one gig. And, and, I, and I think you'll see uh, as this year develops that, um, yeah, 10 gig is going to be um, a big, uh, you know, a big uh, big year. So kind of a wrap-up question here, Mike. Uh, is this product in beta? Are customers out there testing it? And if so, um, what kind of reactions are you getting? So we're, we're not in beta yet. We're, we're still in development. Um, we are in, um, in a couple of cases in joint development um, as customers are developing their piece of codes and we're developing ours. Um, the reaction has been phenomenal. I've got um, literally uh, dozens upon dozens of customers that want to get their hands on this. Um, I'm keeping this, the list very short at the moment uh, so that we can focus on um, you know, getting this product out the door and getting it productized. Um, the, the, the things that customers really like are that, are that it's an extension of our existing product, so they can literally pull out one of our adapters today and plug this new product into it, uh, into that slot, and it behaves the same way as, a, um, uh, as, as our NIC. They can then load in their own codes as they're ready so that they can um, you know, evolve the product and update it as they go, or they can use our own codes. So we've got they've got a very flexible way to deploy this, and, and in a way, it, um, it it's a fail-safe way to deploy it because they can continue doing exactly what they're doing in software until they're ready to deploy to deploy uh, code for the FPGA. So they, they can kind of move at their own pace. Um, but but yeah, the customer reaction has been great. We're you know we're um, you know just just thrilled to be working with them and, and real excited about about how this is going to roll out next quarter. Well, terrific. Well, Mike Smith, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. All right, Rich. Uh, thanks for having me. It's been fun. You bet. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.